Not far off a of paved road, you'll find Horse Camp, which is right off to my left. I parked my truck at the entrance. This is uh, this access road takes you down into Horse Camp. There are some campfire rings down in there. It looks pretty decent. It looks like you would have, uh, um, you know, some privacy off of the off of the roadway. Uh, let's go down and check out Horse Camp in the Wenatchee National Forest. This is a free campsite. So there's the entrance to Horse Camp. And down here um, is the camping area. Let me walk you down in there. The camping area kind of spiders out once you get down in here. Let me show you around. This is a free dispersed camping area. It is called Horse Camp in the Wenatchee National Forest. This first site, you can get a fairly large camping configuration in here. A large campfire ring. Pretty nice. And here's a little bit better vantage point. And it's looking back out toward the access road. And yet another vantage point looking back out toward the access road. And if you're sending tents or a shelter up, um, you have a large flat area right off to the side here. Now, there's a walking trail that takes you back to where some of the other campsites are. But uh, I'm going to walk you out the road. There's a road. It doesn't make a circle. Well, we go back out to the Y and we're going to hang a right. I'm going to take you up that road and there's some more campsites off to my right. You have some low hanging branches here. So if you're going beyond that first campsite, be aware that uh, uh, you want to you don't want to bring anything out here that's tall. There's two different uh, shoot-offs. One goes uh, straight ahead and then bears the right, and there's one to my immediate right here. And this opens up back in here. Your car camping, Jeep camping, have a uh, truck camper. You can get something back in here. There's that other campsite that we were just at. You can see the fire ring in the center of your screen. But you have this large open area right in here, which can suffice as a campsite, but you do not have a fire ring right here at this particular uh, campsite where I'm at. That's a look back at the Y. And I'm going up the to the furthest campsite, which is up this way. They take you up in there. That's the direction I just came from. You come up in here, it kind of sprawls out. You can kind of tell it was a, this is an, an old abandoned campground. I bet it was a horse camp. Uh, there was a vault toilet off to my right that is dilapidated. There's the remnants of a vault toilet right there. So this was a campground at one time. It's free dispersed camping now. As you wind back in here, uh, there's a couple open areas. There's one off to my left. Uh, this would be like tent camping. I wouldn't bring a camping configuration back beyond that first campsite. Just my personal preference. But that's a that's a spot right there. There's this large open area, and you can tell they had some kind of fire pit over here. See that half barrel? So again, I go online and I see what's out there about horse camp, and I really wasn't satisfied with what I had found, so I came out here to see what was out here. And uh, you have this one really nice campsite that's right behind me. Uh, that's the one I'd go with. I really wouldn't consider the rest of the camping area, but there is other camping over there if you want a tent camp. Uh, on the way here, I found two awesome dispersed campsites. They're free not far from here. They are big rig friendly. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, check those sites out.
think I'm going to wrap the video here. I'll have the grid coordinates for this free camping location in the written video description on YouTube. I'll also have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description as well. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.